Well, that worked out very well. My new rotary table is allowing me to make uh, molds for making slumping molds much quicker and easier. That took... 29 minutes and 5 seconds, and it could probably go faster. I'm being really conservative to try and get a, a nice surface finish on there, which I think I've got. I don't think I can get much smoother than that. I think I'm up against the, uh, the actual grain of the foam there, so I don't think I can make it any smoother than that. It's a lot better than what I was getting with XYZ motions. And concentric circles. Now all I've got is motions in Y and Z and the rotary table. And it's it's absolutely gorgeous. Now I didn't film the, the initial cut. This what I just filmed was the uh, second cut I did. Sort of a, a, a thin cleanup cut. The first cut left a pretty rough surface. But it was a pretty aggressive cut. So for this second cleanup cut I really slowed down the feed rate. Uh, by comparison, I think the initial cut was about 6 minutes, and this one was uh, almost uh, 30 minutes. So that's the difference in the feed rate, but boy, the difference in the surface is just amazing. It's absolutely gorgeous. There were a lot of pits in it before. It was almost as rough as what you see on the side. Not quite as rough, but almost. But boy, that cleaned up really nice, and... Uh, so smooth. It's got a great curve to it. It's hard to see in this light, but it's a uh, it's an F 3.5 slumping mold for 16 inch mirror. There. Now you can kind of see the curve it has to it. So that's really great. Okay. The next step is I'm gonna I'm gonna take this off the rotary table. And I'm going to put a coat of paint on it. And that's going to fill in what texture there is left here. There's not much. It's pretty smooth. And I'm going to sand the paint. I'll sand it with 220 and then I'll sand it with 400 and get a really smooth surface. And then I'll put a couple layers of um, probably polyurethane on it to get a nice, nice, hard, smooth, shiny surface for uh, using as a mold. And then I'll uh, wax it and uh, build a dam around the edge, like I've done before, and uh, pour it full of uh, refractory plaster. And then I will get a convex slumping mold out of this concave foam mold. So I'm very happy with this rotary table. This, this worked really good. This worked better than I expected it to. So, I'm very happy. Thanks for watching.